In this video, I'm gonna talk about the creative AI tools that are actually exciting me. The ones that are coming that I feel are going to change the creative industry for better or worse, but they are coming. So you better get ready. I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post or soon finesse it with AI. As someone that has done a lot of post-production and done a lot of the things that these tools are capable of doing in a fraction of the time, it makes me excited for the potential kinds of stories that are gonna be able to be told by a larger and larger group of creatives that are gonna have access to these tools very soon. Now, personally, I don't feel that AI is gonna come and take away all the jobs. I still feel that an artist will be needed to finish that last mile of a creative project to make it seamless and to make it perfect. So the first one is Wonder Studio. Now this is an AI tool that when I first saw it, I was just like, this is too good to be true because I've done work like this, painting out subjects and putting in CG composites. So I know the amount of work that needs to go into it as an artist. But the more I kept seeing about Wonder Studio and people doing beta testing and how far they have been able to go with the painting out the plates, painting out the people and replacing the actors with motion capture, this, really excites me because this has been the kind of work that ILM, Weta, and some of the biggest VFX companies have been doing. But now these kind of tools, the thing that gets me excited about this is how it's going to be available to a larger group of filmmakers that wouldn't necessarily have the same kind of budgets that ILM has or necessarily the timeframes. This is gonna be huge for the medium to smaller films that wanna tell more complex stories with these kind of characters. We're gonna see an influx over the next five years of smaller stories going to be told with Hollywood level types of graphics. And especially when I saw who's on the advisory board, and these are the people that are giving advice on how to develop it better for how they would use it or how their peers would use it. You have Steven Spielberg who has done some of the biggest VFX films ever. So you know if they've seen it and they're interested in what's happening here, this definitely piques my interest and I'm super excited to where this can go. So this next one is called Flawless AI. And essentially what they're gonna do is be able to bring so many more films in different languages to a larger audience. And there are so many films that I've watched that are amazing films, but they're subtitles because I don't understand the language or vice versa. So this tech really excites me because of how many more films everyone's gonna be able to watch and enjoy in their native tongue. More films for more people. This is why I'm so excited about this. One of the biggest hurdles for most foreign films is that one inch line of text at the bottom that people just ignore. C'est tragique. Avez-vous réponse Absolument. A lot of people don't even watch films that are in their native tongue. This is gonna open so many more doors for so many amazing films for people to watch. Now just imagine in a few years, this is built into services like YouTube where you're gonna be able to auto translate all your videos into different languages. And it's just gonna sound like you and feel like you. I see this tool becoming very much handy for so many people on so many levels. Hollywood 2.0. Now the things that Adobe has going on in the background with Adobe Firefly for video, this is some very interesting stuff. And this is coming to tools that are going to be on your desktop. Having auto color grading, having auto text and doing generative titles like this, finding the B-roll based on what is actually being transcribed in the video. This is going to change the way content creators are making content. And this is the first time in a long time I have actually been really excited about Adobe's offering in their creative suite. If the tool is able to do what this demo video does, uh, because no one's actually worked with it. There's Adobe Firefly beta, but it's only for images and it's only images that you're able to get from Adobe stock. So you can't upload your own images just yet. But again, this is so early on. It's one of those things that is just an extension of everything that's been happening in the last six months. Everything is pointing to this being the year of AI and it's just super crazy. Adobe is probably in the best position to knock this out of the park because they have not only the tools and the software, but they also have the back catalog of Adobe stock that they can pull from and just train their own models for. So I'm really excited to see where Adobe Firefly lands. But if you don't wanna wait for Adobe Firefly, there is Runway ML with their AI magic tools. 
Now this is one of those sites that they've been doing the generative image and also video. There's some crazy examples. You can upload your own footage and give it a try. There's a free plan for Runway ML. So you upload your video and then you upload a reference. It'll give you the opportunity to transfer your style from the reference image to your video. And all these tools are just going to get better and better with time. It will come down to text prompts to be able to adjust the kind of results you're looking for. And the better you're able to think of what you want to create, these tools will, will be there to help you do that. So if you're looking for a B-roll shot of something very, very specific that doesn't exist or would be almost impossible to film, these are the tools that are going to be able to get you there to tell your stories that much better and clearer. So EB Synth is very similar to Runway ML where you take a video and then you transpose a style onto it. So all those videos that you've seen online where people had these amazing art styles, this is that tool. And I do feel that a feature film is going to come down the pipe where it is built using this kind of tech where people, where someone will film everything in a volume in on a green screen set and just transpose a style onto it. So be prepared because a lot of these are coming and they're going to come on strong and a lot of artists and creatives are going to start using these tools in their content not only online, but it's going to start creeping up into larger and larger films and formats. So we're going to start seeing a lot of it. And one of my biggest fears is that it's all going to start looking the same. So hopefully that doesn't happen and the creative still kind of punch through. We still see things that awe us moving forward. And if you think these are cool, check out this video where I talk about one of the coolest AI tools that I've been using in my own creative workflow. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching.